what is up. It's hobbyist first. And here's the finished product of the Orc Blitzer Bomber for the Stealthy Blood Axes based off an F-117 Stealth Fighter Jet. This is a custom piece, one of a kind. I'm gonna explain how I painted it and show you some close-ups. I'll show you some close-ups first and then I'll introduce the paints that were used to produce the different effects on this uh, plane. Uh, to show you from the top view, you can see there's a bunch of silver scratches and scuffs along the leading edges of the jet and also on uh, exposed angles where it might hit debris or hit the brush as it drives through or flies through tree canopies or on the bottom you'll see there's significant scuffing um, you know where the plane might have been on the ground or uh, on some rough landings so the uh, <clears throat> the jet is here you can see the profile of it and the bombs and the gun underneath and I'll take a moment show you the base and how the base turned out uh, the client asked for a, a sneaky grot as an advanced uh, spotter with a radio calling in an airstrike. You can see uh, some 3D printed crates and an old metal grot there with a Imperial Guard Vox there to uh, call back to base. And just so that the grot knows the direction, uh, there's an arrow on the on the telescope so they know the direction to look because it's probably something that he's gotten wrong at one point or another um, so I'll put the jet back on there and talk to you about some of the paints that were used uh, the jet started out with a chaos black spray for its prime uh, games workshops chaos black spray I then used Nagaroth Knight as the base coat and put two to three coats of this on to get an even um, an even tone and completely uh, covering the black undercoat but a little bit of um, black recess there uh, and then after that I did a light dry brush of Celestra gray and this gray was used to pick out the edges and to pick out the uh, weld beads you can see the welds are green stuff um, sculpted along uh, where the, the different armor panels meet. And this was just used to pick out some of those edges. Then I went back in and painted the center of all the panels with Phoenician purple, which is a slight shade lighter than Nagroth Knight. And that is the highlight color on each of those armor panels. And I finished out the hull of the jet with scratches using uh, Vallejo Model Air Steel. And if you don't have this paint in your collection, this is one of my favorites, and uh, not because of an airbrusher, but because the consistency of it and the coverage is so, so good. And I feel like because in a dropper, it's a lot more reliable than these Games Workshop pots. And I know that a lot of people have uh, been very critical of the Games Workshop paints, but. Uh, I can't say enough good things about Model Air Steel uh, as, a, as a paint used for chipping or for highlighting of bright uh, silver metallic things. Some of the other uh, paints used were Lead Belcher for the metal parts, such as the guns, the exhaust, and the engine. And on the nozzles and um, the backs of the, the, the exhaust ports here, uh, I used this uh, scale color Victorian brass. Washed everything with Agrax. And final rusting was done with this Vallejo model wash uh, dark rust. This is a really, a really nice um, product to work with also. Uh, you squeeze out some of it into the, the cup here and you dip in. And this is uh, a water-based product so it doesn't require thinning although I do have some AK uh, products that are enamel based but as a water-based product it's nice and easy to work with uh, for cleanup 
And when I applied this to the different metallic parts, I let it get tacky for about two, three minutes. And then I would just take my fingers and wipe it off and, uh, and leave behind some of that uh, rust stuff in, the, in the, the crevices. You could see some exposed wires on the jet on the top uh, there. And those were painted using Retributor Armor, which is a nice coverage gold. And I shaded that with Agrax. And I had to be very careful while painting the exposed cables to not get the, the silver onto the hull because the hull was already painted. So I used like a scrap piece of card underneath to protect the, uh, the paint job as I painted some of the the parts that were hanging over the top. Uh, one of the other colors that I used, you can see on the bombs, um, they're a different color. Uh, I used Rackarth Flesh and then shaded them with a sepia wash and with Agrax Earthshade. And then I repainted the Rackarth uh, everywhere except for the crevices. And I tried to build volume by painting um, as it got to the high part of the cylinder on here. And I use a piece of sponge and Rhinox hide. Oh, here's Rhinox hide for some of the chipping on the bombs. And also uh, you'll see these spirals painted on the front of the bombs. Uh, that was painted with Abaddon black. The uh, icons, the blood ax icons were done with flayed one flesh as a background and corn red. Uh, freehand for the, the crossed axis. So that's about it in terms of uh, products used on here. It's a fairly um, fairly simple paint scheme that just required some careful application and to not overdo the chipping, which you, you really can, especially with how stark the, the silver is that comes from the Model Air steel. The base was done using some craft paints and um, dry brushed with Ushabti bone. And I used some more of that uh, Vallejo model wash over top of some of these rusted out elements, as well as some typhus corrosion went on there. And uh, I think these crates are painted using, crates might've been painted with this French Panzer Ace color. Um, and then washed and dry brushed with um, Ushapti bone over top, the same, same as this. So that's, that's gonna complete the discussion of how this thing went together uh, and, and was painted. Again, I'm, I'm very uh, happy to be done with the project. I spent better part of a week on it, but also sad to see it go. But I know that the owner is very excited to receive it. Uh, if you're interested in any custom orc builds, uh, please get in touch with me through um, through Instagram or through my my Gmail. Uh, I can be found uh, hobbyist first for all those different things, or you can you can get a hold of me on Facebook as well. I'm in uh, most of the orc Facebook groups. Uh, happy to help bring your your design to life. You know, it's it's fun sometimes to work as a commission artist to. Uh, have somebody just say, you know, make something that looks cool or you pick the colors and sure that's that's fun, but I really enjoyed this this project uh, in particular because I was able to work with an individual who had an idea of what they wanted and sent a lot of pictures back and forth and there were a lot of design uh, discussions around different elements of this and, and the colors and and uh, and I, I appreciate that kind of dialogue because um, you know, sometimes as an artist, it makes you feel like you're not alone. Like, you know, you're, you're kind of collaborating. Oops. <laughs> you're, you're collaborating with somebody to, uh, to achieve um, this goal. So uh, thanks for taking a look at the project. And uh, if you're not already subscribing to the channel, I uh, appreciate if you uh, hit that um, subscription, subscribe button in the bottom right corner. And you get notifications when further videos come out. Uh, yeah, but check me out on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook groups, and uh, yeah, I appreciate you taking the moment to uh, look at my work. Take care.